The moment we've been waiting for is to get to Belgium and try all of the street food that we possibly can. That waffle is chewy, dense, oh you know it's so sweet, and divine. Mm. Mm. Ah, that's just so good. Do you see this? That's so good. And in case you missed our latest two videos, Tanner's American parents flew into Germany to spend a couple weeks with us and travel. We at a airport. Yes, we at a airport. Oh, look there, right over there. Let's go. Let's go. Our first travel destination was in Salzburg, Austria, in the nearby Alps. We rode on the steepest cog railway in the world. Right in time. enjoyed the views on a ferry afterwards, and walked in the streets of the old town in Salzburg. After a couple days relaxing at our house in Germany, we started our journey up to Belgium, where we recorded our first impressions of the capital of Brussels. And we come out to this. Oh, oh my goodness. We timed our trip with the Carpet of Flowers, an event that takes place once every two years and where volunteers decorate the grand place with flowers. We're gonna be starting out this video trying Belgian fritten, which is essentially French fries. My my father-in-law was asking us do we want to get a curry ketchup or a mayonnaise and we said it's up to you. So we're going to see what he brings. We're going to be tasting it together as a group and we know there's a lot more food coming so we can't wait. Here it is, which one you got? One fritten with mayonnaise. <laughs> yeah. Did you order in Belgium? I did. You did. I did. Right. I ordered in Dutch. Okay, in well, Flemish. Did I say Belgium? Yeah. yeah. Dutch. There you go. The mayonnaise has not changed. Yeah. Better than American. That's hot. That's hot. They, they double cook them. Oh, they double fried. They're, they're double fried. Well, first taste, just like we did on the road. It's a lot of Yep, they're still good. They haven't changed. You'll want to blow it before you give it. They're warm. Ooh. These are hot, fresh. Do fresh. you know, do they put salt on them? They do. Only it's called salt. It's so hot. <laughs> That's hot. They just come out of, the, out of the deep fryer. But it's good. They're double cooked. Double cooked. I need to like double dip with the mayo. <laughs> there's, there's never enough mayo on them. This is a cool fork. Do you want to get some fries? Grab a fry. Get one up here. Oh, awesome. Oh, you got it. There you, you go. Blow on it. Blow on it. There you go. We ordered the fritten here in the grand place. And as you can tell, this place is a vibe. There's people playing instruments, a ton of people walking around. It's just a fun place. Definitely tourists. Have to say, I already know that. The fries came at a cost of 450 euro. And not only that, but after one choice of sauce, if you want any extra, it comes at one euro per sauce. So, I mean, I feel like the prices are probably increased here in this square, but they were really good. When I think of fries, I would just say they were like normal in size, but they were hot and they were double fried. So that's fun because they were extra crispy. I would have liked a bit more salt and sauce on it, but really fun first impression. There were 10 sauce choices, which I was impressed to see such a variety. My father-in-law said typically he had it with either mayo or curry ketchup, which coming from Germany, we definitely know what the curry ketchup's like, and I'm sure we'll try that another time. We can't wait to taste our way through Belgium. Oh my gosh, that was such a fun first bite. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I am in heaven. Oh my gosh. Look at this, you guys. How do you even pick? How do you pick? I want them all. There are so many waffle places here in Belgium. So, so many, which I'm not going to lie, is making me love Belgium so much because they look delicious. I've seen savory. I've seen sweet. You know what I got first, a sweet one. I have Nutella, fresh cream, and chocolate drizzle on top. Mm, I haven't taken a bite because my fork broke. Actually, the waffle is tougher, in fact, than the little wooden fork that they gave us. But one thing I wanted to mention before I dive in is that a lot of people here are speaking French. Makes sense because it borders the country of France, but 
kind of hard to communicate. Luckily, English is the universal language, but I've been surprised how many people are speaking French. In total, for three waffles, two of them being sugar waffles with powdered sugar on top, and then the other one being this one here that I have, it came out to be eight euros total. So if we break that down, that's four euros for this one, and then two euros for the sugar waffles. I don't want it. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> this is too sweet for Tanner. He's like, where is the real food? I'm like, this isn't? I will need some real food after this as well. Okay. Mm. That waffle is chewy, dense. Oh, you know it's so sweet. And divine. This is delicious. Everything that I wanted it to be. I mean, minus the melted cream, but take that away and the mess. I'm going back in. Mm. Yep. You can't come to Belgium and not get a sugar waffle. What is the official term? Zauker waffle. Zauger waffle. Zauger waffle. Officially pronounced Zauger waffle. Zauker. Okay. <laughs> Just say sugar waffle. Okay. Officially pronounced Zauker waffle. <laughs> Now, and we're here in Bruges, Belgium, about to get some Belgian chocolates. I'll have a marshmallow. And then, uh, so that, uh, yeah. like a crunchy, uh, crunchy rice crisp. So, the box and the, and the nougat, anything else? No, that's everything. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Yeah. Have a nice See you. Yeah. Pull this string here. Right here. What is it, Willa? We've got two layers of an assortment of chocolates that we chose. They're all handmade, did he say? Oh, family handcrafted. I'll just dive into the hazelnut one and pass the box around. It is very hot here. It's a high of like 90 degrees, and so we knew whatever chocolates we were going to order, we needed to be able to eat them. Luckily, there's four adults here, and we know Willa could down a couple on her own. There's a hazelnut one. You gonna show you the horse one? Mm. <laughs> What's on the inside of yours? <laughs> it's a cream inside, a hazelnut cream. I was hoping for a little crunch on there, but I mean the flavor is incredible. Very, very creamy. It's going to be a nice bite with that hazelnut on top. Cheers! This will be a true test because chocolate's not my first choice for sweets. I'm usually like a gummy candy type of guy. I chose probably the safest one, which is a praline filled chocolate heart. Very creamy, good flavor. I definitely appreciate the fact that it has a little bit of like crunch in the different layers of the chocolate. Really smooth, really creamy and rich. Nice. This one, even though white chocolate is not my first choice of chocolate either, it had pistachio cream inside, which I've grown to become a pistachio cream fan here in Europe because they seem to have it in a lot of things. I'm kind of excited. Oh, for this mommy, one. which mommy bright? <laughs> I tried it. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> when I think pistachio, I was thinking like pistachio cream. This is like Marissa's pistachio pudding. <laughs> That was a hard swallow down. Let me know what you think, Rizzo. Which I think that brand of Jello. What are those like instant puddings in America? Jello brand. Yeah, they're just like a Jello brand. I grew up with them, mixed with like a cottage cheese and whipped cream base. So, do you want a bite? I don't even think it's as good as the gel, <laughs> unfortunately. It doesn't have that strong of a flavor. 
I, I know, sorry Tanner, I don't think it's as strong as I was expecting. The white chocolate really comes through. You can see there's like a thick chocolate bottom and we had that with our caramel one too, which is really nice. You get a solid amount of chocolate with it. White chocolate's just not my favorite either. It's still really good. I mean, you can tell these are high quality, just, you know, preference of taste and what you prefer. Overall, very creamy chocolates. I feel like that's like the main consensus is they are super creamy, very well made. Guys, it just depends on your preference, your taste. And this is a family owned chocolatier and so they're gonna have their own preferences and tastes too. Fun to have an assortment of flavors. Highly recommend you try that when you come to Belgium. Man, it is bright, but right behind me you can see the House of Waffles and it's located right next to the Torture Museum. This is our choice for lunch. Tanner actually found it, picked it. They have a mixture of sweet and savory waffles. We can't wait to get a little creative with the waffle and dive in. I'm gonna be ordering the BLT waffle and we'll see what Tanner's gonna do. Willa chose her choice of a Brussels waffle, so we'll just get her one plain. Mmm, the sound of it. So good. And you don't have to go in to sit down to eat. You can do a takeaway. We're opting to sit in, enjoy, relax, get away from the heat, but a fun option to just take a waffle away and continue to explore the city. Do you see this? It's got a nice layer of herbs, cream cheese in there, which I'm very excited about. It looks super flavorful. An egg, bacon, lettuce, tomatoes. That's so good. I didn't get any of the egg or the tomato. Actually, it's really big, so I'm gonna have to go in for another bite. But that herbs cream cheese alone is everything. It's so good. This time I got a better bite with the waffle. We got egg, tomato. The waffle's really quite crisp. It's crunchy, gives a good bite, especially when you have a lot of that sauce, the yolk from the egg. Nice, so good. If you want to pick that up with your mano, you can. Or do you want me to cut it somewhere? The Norwegian, it has some smoked salmon, cream cheese, onions, and salad. And I'm really glad that I got this one because this is more of a specialty, I think. So, ready to dive in here. Lots of cream cheese. Oh, yeah. Nice crunch, you can hear that there. Well, that's a thick layer of cream cheese. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, ready for this. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that's just so good. Textures, the flavor of the salmon, really soft. It's not too overpowering like a lot of times you might expect from fish. And the seasonings on top of that cream cheese. Mm, delicious. You can see behind me our last stop here in Bruges. We're gonna be getting some more fries. Go figure. But we've only had it once and you saw our experience there. So we're gonna be getting some here. I can't remember the name, but we're getting fries with a meat gravy on it. So that's something my father-in-law has talked highly about. And then of course we're getting some french fries with the curry ketchup. We had to do that. I wanted to get both the mayo and the curry ketchup. So we're ending out with three different kinds of french fries. I'm really excited. I feel like here in Belgium you can get a perfect mixture of sweet and savory. Yes, of course, it's not the most nutrient dense items, but really fun to try and definitely tasty. This is heavier than I was expecting it to be. This is, this is the big one. This is the big one. There, I, there's That's not. The this yeah. is just the fries and then. Oh. <laughs> that was more than I thought. That's the quota. Perfect. Mm. So perfect. So perfect. <laughs> they cooked them the second time just right. What's my fault? There's a burger, burger for them. Maybe that's the gravy. Oh, that might be your snow place. That's your snow place. Oh my goodness. Somebody cooked all the potatoes. I did not know it was that big. Oh, good. Oh, that's so much, huh? <laughs> This place had incredible reviews. That's how we chose which place we wanted to go to Google reviews. There were, I think, 400 and something, almost five star reviews. So it ended up being like 4.7 on average. Very good for a restaurant. Ooh. 
some mozzarella sticks, curry ketchup, mayo, and the gravy. I'm going to give us some fiber in there. <laughs> so we have our fritz in here with some stofles, which is a stew with meat inside of it. And I'm also going to take some of the curry ketchup as well. All right, got some sauce on there, got some meat. That's really nice and savory. Got a little bit of salty flavor to the stew there. French fries in general, I enjoy them, but this is like the next level of savory. You know me, I'm a savory person, so this is like right up my alley. And then lastly, the curry ketchup. We've had a few kinds in Germany, so it'll be interesting to see how this one compares to it. Yeah, smells just like it. Honestly, I can't really tell that much of a difference. Oh, yeah, as it goes down the back of the throat, you can feel it like the tingly of the curry spices. All really fun flavors. Honestly, this has been really nice to end out the day. We said we were gonna take it easy today, but it has been kind of a longer day. Well, this has been our experience taste testing through some foods here in Belgium. It's been a lot of fun, honestly, seeing my dad get so excited about eating a lot of these foods again has been really fun and giving us all this experience has been amazing. So thanks again for being here. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We'll see you next time. So we ordered those spice here. Oh, it's just spice. <laughs> we ordered those. <laughs> I promise we did not eat fries. Flies, wow, I said it wrong too. <laughs> <laughs>